So I want to explore for a moment the nature of government. And for the purpose of this video, I'm referring to civil government, which we'll call the state. A good starting point is just to ask yourself simply, what is the state? Well, in its simplest terms, the state is an institution that makes the rules, which we call laws or legislation. In history, sometimes this was just one guy, a, a dictator or a king, that made all the rules. In the U.S. today, we have a complex republic where people select legislatures who make the rules, the executive agencies enforce those rules, and then courts settle disputes over those rules. But why do we need rules at all? The simple answer is because we want people to behave in certain ways. Rules are created to force people to do things that they would not ordinarily do freely. But is this a bad thing to force people to do you know, certain things we want them to do? Well, I guess that kind of depends. The simple example would be like if a man raped someone. You know, if this man went and raped a woman, he would not voluntarily go and put himself into a jail cell. So what we do is we create a rule that says, look, if you rape someone, you have to go sit in a jail cell for a very long time. And if you don't comply, we will send guys with guns. And if you resist them, uh, we'll use violent force to make you comply with those rules. Now, in that instance, it, it seems pretty reasonable. But you can see how it becomes very problematic when you consider that essentially Everything in the government follows this same formula of rules backed by guys with guns. And I'm not exaggerating. If you park in the wrong spot and get a $50 ticket and you continually you know, refuse to pay that ticket over and over as they, as they add extra fines and all that, eventually the state will authorize guys with guns to come and put you in a cage against your will. Most people, obviously, they, they just pay the fine. They want to avoid additional trouble that eventually will lead to violence. But you have to remember that $50 was paid because ultimately not paying it was backed by a threat of violence. Also, remember, if people do something of their own free will, then there's no need for a rule. You know, that, that's the reason we don't have a rule or a law that says you have to go and pick up your paycheck, because people do that automatically. And a rule is utterly meaningless, or a law, unless it is ultimately enforced. And ultimate enforcement is through violence or coercion. In its essence, the state is an institution of violent force. It is an agent whose very nature, the creation of legislation, is designed to compel behavior by the threat of violence for noncompliance. Don't believe me? Well, take a moment and reflect on it and try and think of any example of a government legislation that isn't ultimately backed up by guys with guns. I mean, even institutions like NASA are forced creations. People could, you know, conceivably have voluntarily created an institution like NASA, but that's not what NASA is. It is created not through voluntary cooperation, but through the government taking funds from people and resources under the threat of violence because they believe that NASA is worth it. And they might be right, but that doesn't change the equation. The equation still is that the funds and resources for NASA are acquired through extortion, through telling people that we're going to get that money, you don't have an option to pay for NASA or not. They didn't go and ask for donations. In essence, the state is a gun. Okay, I'm going to repeat that. In its essence, the state is a gun. And politics is the battle for that gun to decide who controls that gun, and who are they going to point it at, and why. This is why politics is such a high-stakes game. History is full of the bloody horrors of what can happen if the wrong people with the wrong ideas get control of the gun, because they go and point it at whoever they deem to be their enemies. History is largely the tale of danger about the state and its use of that power. When I was younger, my dad shared with me a quote that is sometimes attributed to George Washington. It reads, Government is not reason. It is not eloquence. It is force. You see, the American founders understood this. And our system of government was designed to keep that gun, the gun of government that we're all fighting for, as small as possible and to ensure that it was only pointed at those who were guilty of violating someone's natural rights. They understood that the state is inherently antithetical to liberty and thus wanted to limit it. 
So ask yourself the next time a law is being considered, am I really willing to send people with guns to violently put people in a cage if they don't comply with this law? Because that's the reality of what you're doing. That is what legislation is. That's what it's backed by. And if you're not willing to send in guys with guns to lock someone up if they don't comply, then you are under a rational and moral obligation to fight against such laws and abuses of state power. Never forget, at its heart, the state is an instrument of coercion through violence. So keep that in mind and respond accordingly. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.